Hello, hello. Today, lazy day. There was no diving today, so I was thinking about what to talk about, and then there was this 10 uh, Bali dive sites, most popular dive sites came up, and um, <clears throat> so I decided to talk about that, that just because simply there are so many of these lists, uh, and uh, the question is where this list comes from, and uh, is it really objective or it's subjective opinion or where is this uh, reviews coming from? I mean, been like kind of touching this team already previously, but are there any 10 or something like that? If you're asking me what is my favorite 10 dive sites, it really depends which time of the year I'm diving. What is the weather condition? There are so many different things which are actually affecting this my personal list. Uh, I, I would like to just to say how many diving areas we have all around the Bali. It's only four diving areas. Menjungan, Ametulamban, uh, then Chandidasa and Nusa Penida. That's it. Nothing else. We have many macro, right? So if you go all around the Bali, you can still find some macro or something or some place to dive. Yes, but like, like more serious or place where in one place you can get different diving that's only four areas i haven't been diving in menjungan um, i've been reading again only reviews i've been watching these videos from the people and it's really easy actually to understand is it good diving place or not how you can understand it just watch the videos the person who filmed this particular dive place is focusing on something one let's say some macro he got some four different objects and been filming and all the video is about these four different objects one minute about one place so that means it's not that many things to put together so that's the first sign this diving place is so so and that's the impression what i got about the menjungan probably it's a beautiful wall with some fun corals on it but i've been living and diving in the philippines where everywhere is a wall so almost in any dive site there is a wall you go to bohol we have walls you dive around cebu it's walls you go even to porto galera i don't know it's also walls if someone will pay for my trip to menjongan i will go there but for my personal and own money i don't have a motivation to go and dive there if you will type in most popular diving places around Bali, what you will see there? You will see the Liberty, you will see Ahmed, you will see Jemeluk, you will see Japanese, uh, then you will see Nusa Penida, Manta Point mainly, and also um, Special Drift, the long one, Lambongan, something from Lambongan, uh, and also you will see some Chandidasa, that's it, right? So, what is the most popular dive sites and where is this list comes from? All these dive sites comes from the reviews. The most popular is because one person is writing a review and another person is also going to that place. If there is a bigger group of the people who can dive or snorkel in this particular place, that's where you get most reviews. Like for example, um, Nusa Penida, Manta Point. It's possible to snorkel and dive there. Just guess how many reviews you get from that place. Or for example, same Bunotan, right? So how many people are actually diving there? There are less people diving and snorkeling and of course you get less reviews. And, and of course Bunotan Beach, which is my favorite and most, most beautiful dive sites are all around here in Ahmed Tulamben, have definitely is not in that list. Or for example, have you ever heard about uh, Bikini Island, where is the best uh, where is the best wreck diving in the world, right? So you never heard about that just because simply not so many people can go there. It's pretty expensive. It's not uh, diveable for every single person. It's all mostly for technical divers and that's it. And you know anything about that. So that's why, in my opinion, all this 10 dive site lists are really subjective. It's only about places where the people are diving most and um, and that's how it comes. Oh, my name is uh, Keto. Keto. Yeah. Where are you going? Oh. You are fisherman. The fish uh, here. No, I'm just holiday here. Ah, the holiday. Yeah. Where yeah. you came from? 
I'm from Lempuyang. You know Lempuyang? Yes, I know Lempuyang. Oh, ah, yeah, Lempuyang. I'm from so you're living in that place? Yeah, that place. So then you've been uh, in Lahangan Suite? Yeah, Lahangan Suite. Yeah, yeah. You know Lahangan Suite? Yeah, of course, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Been oh. there many, many times. Many times? Yeah. I'm from Lempuyang. <laughs> you're from Lempuyang? Yes, Lempuyang. <laughs> okay, cool. Hello, I'm from Lempuyang. <laughs> So nice, so yeah. good. So, 10 dive sites from me, personally from me. So I'm gonna start from Nusa Penida. And it's not in an order, right? So it doesn't matter, just don't sing it. This is my favorite and this is last favorite. It's just uh, simply numbers. The first dive site, it's a uh, Manta Point. just because of the mantas if even you take all the mantas away from that place it's still pretty interesting and good dive site second special drift also Nosa Penida really long I love the current you just you can fly some couple of kilometers and it's perfect dive site beautiful corals just because simply there is a cold water kind of one kind of the corals and it's not that it's not the same as here where we have so many different corals and and everything but uh, in that place it's beautiful corals there and it's also kind of the wall or pretty steep slope the dive site number three is uh, Chandidasa most probably I like all the dive sites in Chandidasa I like Biaha I like uh, Taket, I like uh, Tepekong and Mimpang. My favorite day is uh, Taket and also Canyon. So two dive sites from the Chandidasa. Next. We're coming back to Ahmed, where we diving most. And uh, my favorite here is Bunutan. Then I like also Deep Blue. Uh, also, I like Pyramids. And I like, I really like Gemlok Wall and all the way to the Bunutan. You can check in a description all these videos from those dive sites. Uh, but that, that's my favorite, Liberty Wreck. Still really good dive site. Uh, it doesn't matter that so many people diving there, but probably that's definitely one of the best dive sites around Bali, just because it's this artificial uh, reef, which is created by Liberty Wreck. It's actually, it's like a making like a biodiversity or home for all these fishes. And that's why it has so many things to see sharks sometimes we have mola mola even there inside the wreck um, uh, whale sharks sometimes passing by and even uh, manta rays right so it's super rich and interesting place for which attracts a lot of fishes and other uh, interesting creatures boga wreck is super good uh, dive site it's not only for training but it's also really cool for I don't know, I just like that dive site and, and the reef around that is getting better and better. I've been making already a video about it. I definitely forgot all this Gili Selang area, Golden Rock, Gili Selang. It's beautiful dive sites, almost only few people diving there. And, and it's incredible actually. It's, it's just because it's super strong currents. Not so many people diving there and, not, and you will not find it in any reviews. Yep, 
Thank you very much for watching. Follow, subscribe, smash the thumbs up button and see you tomorrow again. Bye.